All right, so welcome back to another driveway. This is probably going to be the last thing that I need to add to the crossfire before I can consider this section of its life fully taken care of. So this will pretty much be the last thing I need to do before we can hit Rocky Mountain Race Week. I still have a boatload of stuff to do with the trailer to get that thing ready, but this should hopefully be the last thing before I do some street tuning and try to make sure I get a relatively safe tune to take this thousand miles. So let's go and get started here. All right, so today we are talking alternators. We've got ours right on down here, bolted low, but there's multiple different alternators that have been made in the years. Old ones, new ones, and they all behave quite a bit differently. The majority of people are going to use a older, let's just roughly say 2003 based alternator because that allows you to give a um, signal to one side of the alternator, excite it so it uh, generates power and it charges the battery. But on the newer ones, kind of like this one is, they started going to a pulse width modulation control of the alternator. If you don't have the ECU that uh, came with your, this is probably 2007 through maybe 2014 or all, actually probably even to 2020. I haven't looked at stuff for recent, recent, but they all have this pulse width modulation which controls how much voltage the alternator puts out based on certain readings that the computer gets. So it does this for battery life, uh, fuel economy, and that type of stuff. So the idea behind having a adjustable alternator is in a modern vehicle, you'll start the motor, it will sense that there is a cranking force, like a large discharge out of the battery, and it will actually kick up to like 15 volts to kind of shove a good amount of power back into the battery, and also I believe they call it like a anti-sulfation mode. So it boosts it really high to kind of maintain the life of the battery and such. And then it can also, while you're cruising down the road, it can turn the voltage a long way down just to barely keep everything running. And that reduces the amount of pull on the alternator. But since we don't have a stock computer in here, we're going to have to come up with a different way. So right now I have a wire coming from there going all around into the dash and I will show you what I'm going to do to control this. Okay, now when everything cranks up, we can see kind of see, get in here, there we go, 88%, 130.
anyways, that finishes that up. So now we have control out of the voltage of our alternator. And yeah, like you really only care about making it go one way or the other. Uh, if you have different types of batteries, so that way you can dial in exactly what voltage you want everything to charge at. So yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Not much else to do. So I guess just finish buttoning up a couple of these things here, and then we can call it a day. Anyways, thanks again for stopping by and watching, and maybe we'll see you all again later.